Now we're going to do two things. First, we're going to use ladder, which if you look here, this is a really cool little uh, user feedback feature. It's available in jQuery or Angular, and it allows you to have buttons with really nice user feedback features with the spinners. We're going to use that. This is the jQuery version or the non-Angular version, but it's fine. There's actually an Angular version of Ladder available as well called the Angular Ladder. So that's the one we're going to use. So the first thing we want to do is we want to include Ladder, Angular Ladder in our project. So I'm just going to add Bower install Angular Ladder. Now that it's installed, the next step is to add the relevant files to our HTML. So the first thing we want to add is the CSS file. We want to install the themeless version of it because we want we're using Bootstrap, and if we use the install the themeless version of it, it will it won't override in any of the styles of Bootstrap. So this is the ladder dist ladder themeless min.css, and then we go to the bottom. We need to include some JavaScript files. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste them all in rather than type it out. Okay, so we need to include the spin dot min which came in the ladder package then we need to include the ladder which is the core ladder and then the angular ladder version is the version of, uh, is the kind of angular binding for ladder that we have so we've now included all three of them in and the final step if you remember from the auto validate functions we need to go into the our main.js and we need to add um, angular ladder which is the name of the module that uh, angular ladder lives in and yep we just add that in so now that's added in there we have a new directive that we can add to our html so let's go up there let's add it to our uh, uh, register button so the directive is called ladder and if ladder is true it will display the spinner same as the ladder page if it's false the spinner will go away so for now, I'm just gonna show it as true. And another attribute I'm gonna to add to it is we want to show, uh, I like it when it has something called the style of expand right. So this is gonna show the spinner coming up to the right of the button. So this is always gonna be true. So it means if we launch this page now, and let me go to the bottom, you can see there it is, the register button and it's spinning. But obviously we don't want it to always spin. We only want it to spin when we are actually submitting the form. So what we do is we go into the on submit. We'll actually go into the, the controller itself. And I'm going to create a variable called on the scope called submitting. It's a Boolean. And I'm going to say it's false to begin with. So it is not submitting. And then when we hit on submit, I want to set that to true. So when that function gets called we're going to start submitting and then if the post comes back either a success or a failure uh, you've got to remember the failure we want to set that to false so when this function gets called submitting sets to true when either the success or error handler comes uh, gets hit we're going to set that to false and then we're going to go to the ladder button again and instead of true I'm going to set that to submitting but while we're here, I mean, as well as that, I actually also, the register statement doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like if we aren't submitting, register makes sense. But actually when we're submitting, I want to just give it another message of registering. So how we do that, we're going to do the ng show again. We're just going to create a span. So on, if submitting is equal to true, I want the button to say registering. And if submitting is equal to false, I just want it to say register. So that's what I want for the button. So let's go back to our page and let's refresh. See now it's register. Now I'm going to fill out this form. I'm going to speed it up in the video. Okay, I filled the form out so it's validated. So it's going to call the on submit function and then I'm going to hit register. You see it's registering and there we go. Smiley face, everything came back okay and the register button went back again.